Mr. Bill Dance, the one and only. How you doing today, Bill? I'm doing great. We've had a great show. You know, another year in Vegas, I tell you what, you know, it just seems like, and I look back, you know, last year we were in Orlando, yeah. and then we were here two years ago. Uh, we had uh, a good crowd, it was hot, you yes. know, but yes. the difference Always. in Orlando and Las Vegas, you've got the heat, but you don't have the humidity. That's right. And, uh, you know, we've got a good crowd. We've got a lot of new products and uh, a lot of cool uh, the enthusiasm. Things. The economy was kind of a iffy deal, you know, last it year. It was, but, things, but things are on the upswing this year. People are excited this oh, year. Absolutely. So, so, to go along with all the excitement that's going on around here at ICAST, do you have any tips, your expertise? Let's take largemouth, largemouth bass. Somebody that doesn't do it all that often. What would you say to them if they're hitting a body of water they've never been to before, how can they try to find the fish? Well, you know, I, yeah, it's like I tell anybody that uh, like a beginner, uh, like a youngster starting out or like a beginner starting out, mm -hmm. you want to try to go with someone, uh, pick someone, you know, get someone to take you fishing, take an experienced fisherman. You want to observe, you want to ask lots of questions. Uh, you want to you, you want to try to learn one new thing on every outing. You don't want to uh, good complicate anything, but ask lots of questions, observe, go as often as you can, and don't uh, try to complicate it. Uh, try to fish one body of water and learn as much as you possibly can about that particular body of water. Learn how to use uh, a few simple baits mm -hmm. and learn how to use them well. And uh, like I say, going with someone uh, can be, uh, uh, can be Crucial. invaluable. Yeah. It really can. But you want to ask lots of questions and you want to observe. Uh, now that'll you help said, you out uh, tremendously. You said choose maybe three simple baits or a few baits. What would you recommend? What do they need for their arsenal just to get started with the baits? Well, basics? it depends on where you're fishing. You know, uh, all lakes are a different personality. You've got mm -hmm. highland lakes, midland lakes, lowland lakes, you've got clear lakes, you've got muddy lakes. And uh, as I said, the personality is different. In a muddy environment, you'd use completely different type baits. In a clear impoundment, you would use different type baits. Um, in a highland lake, if you fish are extremely deep, you would dip different baits than you right. would in a lake. Uh, depends on the time of the year, summer, fall, winter, spring, cold water, hot water, muddy water, clear water. It, it varies, but a standard type baits would be, uh, especially in the summer months, mm -hmm. kind of go-to type baits would be uh, a crankbait would be a, a good go-to type bait. A spinnerbait right. would be a good go-to type bait. Okay. And your soft plastic baits, uh, creature baits, would be a good bait to go to at this okay. time of the year. So uh, I don't think you could go wrong with any one of those three baits. So get your hands on some baits, get out there, ask questions. Um, like you said, maybe focus on one body of water, see what you can do, ask bait shops, locals, other anglers. Right and just and if you, stay out if there. You're, if you're fortunate enough to uh, live in a town that's got a bass club, get involved with it. Get, mm -hmm. you know, join in. And, uh, and then that way you'll meet a lot of guys. You'll learn a lot about the local area. You'll learn a lot about the local lakes. And you'll get to fish with the local guys and you'll learn a lot, you know, from them. That'll help you awesome. tremendously too.